brother Achi Ayman said moments ago, he spoke about TikTok, right? I tell you what people are doing. Unfortunately, people sit on other people's TikToks and watch them as they flick. And the only thing they can do is to comment negatively without giving anyone a word of encouragement, without saying anything. You have people who accepted Islam now, now. And the next thing you find all these Muslims bombarding them with so much. Do you reckon that's divine? Do you think that that's the way Allah wanted it to bombard someone with so much that they feel trapped and they think to themselves, what did I just do? I always say you reverted to Islam or you're newly practicing. Please move closer to Allah at your pace, but at a decent pace for as long as you know and Allah knows that you're heading in the right direction to the best of your capacity and ability. Inshallah, you're doing the right thing. People are weak when it comes to fulfilling their salah, but they're born Muslim and the same guys are attacking people who have a different weakness as though they have no weakness whatsoever. I'm not saying don't remind, but when you remind people do so with utmost respect, putting yourself in their shoes, do so in a manner that is so appealing that they feel like changing. Allah. You so, can't look at someone and say, well, I was about to use a, a bad word. Let's not use it. Or should I use it? Shouldn't I? It's not such a bad word. Like they say, you know, haram, but not haram, haram, you know. You know, the words are becoming less and less bad according to the age, but in the eyes of Allah, they're bad. I was going to use the word <coughs> idiot, but I won't use it. <laughs> How's that? It's like when you want to tell someone how stupid they are, you say, I was going to tell you how stupid you are, but I decided against it. That means you're so stupid, you know, you're going to say, you know what? I was going to call you an idiot, but I think I won't. Subhanallah, it means you're a big idiot. That's what it means. May Allah forgive us. So I won't use the word. Okay. But people use these words for others. And you know what? They are perhaps in the eyes of Allah worse than those whom they are attacking, but they're just enjoying it on. And you don't know the amount of pain you caused people. You will pay for that pain. My brother, my sister, rather say an encouraging word, rather encourage people in a positive way. Learn it. If you don't know how to do it, remain silent because it's going to be held for you or against you on the day of Qiyamah, the day of judgment. It's going to be held for you or against you. I'm not going to sit and pass bad comments. I do sometimes see your posts, people who are here. I see your posts sometimes. I do. I'm a human and I do use social media. So as I'm going up, the chances are I probably would see what would I do? I probably would comment. Subhanallah, but make sure it's me, please. Right? May Allah grant us ease. The last time I checked, there were about 10,000 Mufti Menk accounts. I didn't know who I was. I'm looking, Wallahi, I look at people who have more content than I do of my own and they have more followers than I do. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, that's supposed to be Mufti Men. Can you tell the guy, can you please delete this video? It's not supposed to be, it's a private video. And they don't answer. They say, no, you can, you know, literally you can go to hell, basically. And I'm thinking, let's see who's going to go to hell. Allah Almighty forgive us. People make accounts of everybody's names. Some of you might have people who, who love you so much that they make accounts and sometimes they hate you so much that they make accounts to tarnish your image. This is what the world is all about now. Be careful. You do not be on the wrong side of it because we are believers. We know we are responsible. We know every action has a reaction. As believers, you do good, you get good multiplied. You do bad, you get bad multiplied. Subhanallah, bad meaning it's going to come back to you to haunt you. I know when you've committed a sin against Allah, it's one for one. And when you did a good deed for Allah, it's one multiplied. But when you commit a sin against someone else, it's coming back to haunt you. It's definitely coming to haunt you. May Allah Almighty grant us steadfastness and may we never be from among those who hurt and abuse others. So you don't just sit and enjoy looking at things. I was saying, sometimes I comment, I would only say a good thing, no matter who it is. Once I had a brother tell me, Sheikh Astaghfirullah, you commented on this sister's post. Why were you watching sister's posts? I said, well, why were you watching not just the post, but even went down and looked at the comments? I mean, what's good for the goose has to be good for the gander, isn't it? Come on. You're telling me why was I? It was just a natural human thing. Not that I watched the whole thing. Who knows what I was focused on? Akhi Ayman tells me it's easy for me to lower my gaze because I need to wear glasses. All I do, I take them out. He says, when I look at the crowd, I get so much of confidence because I can't really see the guys in front of me. Masha Allah, Tabarakallah, my brother. Sorry about that. 
May Allah Almighty grant us ease. May Allah Almighty grant us goodness and ease. But the truth of the matter is, you're a human. You may come across something. It doesn't mean you're not allowed to say a word of encouragement. You can, no matter who you are.